This is a hot tub. I like my hot tub around 100, 101. And that's what was recorded in Manatee Bay yesterday. Wow. Meteorologists in Florida have measured some potentially record-setting temperatures this week. A buoy in Manatee Bay measured 101.1 degrees Monday. Oh. The night before, 100.2 degrees. To be clear, this is the ocean water. <laughs> Hot tub maker Jacuzzi, by the way, recommends a water temperature between 100 and 102 degrees. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says seawater temps are unofficial. Certain conditions could disqualify it, but even if it's not a record, it is affecting wildlife. I mean, you could look at these temperature measurements and say, oh, you know, we're questioning whether they're valid or not, but the proof is in the impacts. The corals are not happy with this level of hot water. They are bleaching. A lot of them are dying, I've heard, too. And these hot waters extend to great depth. I've seen some measurements of 90 degrees Fahrenheit down at the level of the reefs, and that is just unimaginable heat. And here we are only in July. I mean, we've got another couple months of peak heating to go. Now, a NOAA researcher who kayaked out to the area where these temperatures were recorded said that every single coral colony was showing some form of bleaching. Some had died. Now, until the 1980s, coral bleaching was mostly unheard of, but government researchers say now it's fairly routine. Environmental scientists say it's unlikely to stop anytime soon.